Mike, check, check, check. Justin Hunt, it's all happening. Thank you guys for rocking with the channel. Thank you to everyone that's supported through the Cash App or to the link tree. It means a great, 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 great deal. And big shout out to all my members. I call y'all the analysts because y'all be breaking things down in the dopest way. Uh, interesting show we have today. We got two stories today on today's show, but I really just want to give a sincere thank you to everyone. I've been dropping a lot more frequently and I've been getting great feedback. I, 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 I'm honored, I'm blessed, and highly favored. Uh, to have people who care about my thoughts like this. Uh, so upcoming, today we also dropped the full interview with Rude Jude. I made allusions to how this conversation goes to you guys over time. Over, the, I've been dropping clips, but I've let you know that this is an interesting conversation. Um, take a look at it. I think it really speaks to the dynamics that are at play, not only on a political level and, and uh, with everything that's happening in the election from a perspective standpoint. Not only is it does it really remind me of Slim Shady <laughs> on the death of Slim Shady? Uh, but also, I think it really is a it, it it shows how people can be friends and have a and disagree on a lot of things. You know what I mean? So uh, big shout out to Rude Jude. I really uh, I really miss being on that show. I miss us being on Shade Forty Five, and and uh, I thank him for all the awesome things he's he's uh, done for me professionally, but also all the things and all the times and all the ways he's been there for me personally. Uh, Upcoming, I just did a two hour interview <laughs> with Daylight. Daylight is like Kang the Conqueror, right? Like he is in all the timelines in hip hop, you know? So he's got a direct close relationship with Drake, direct close relationship with J. Cole. He's on J. Cole's album on the song Pie. That's his track, Pie with Absol and J. Cole. He's in essentially in TDE through Room Full of Mirrors, which is Punches collective and he's also a battle rap titan who learned how to perform on stage from lupe fiasco <laughs> okay so we talked for two hours about all these things i'll drop pieces on the channel i'll have the full available for members uh, but that's a great conversation so look out for that as well but that's the main reason why i didn't do stories yesterday i mean that conversation with 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 uh, Daylight is dynamic and is dope. So I can't wait for you guys to check it out. His son is in the background, so you can kind of hear his son talking it through portions of the conversation. So I apologize for that. You know, you can still make out what he's saying, of course. I'll, uh, I'll and, uh, and and all these platforms, they have subtitles now, so <laughs> it should be okay. But uh, big shout out to Daylight, thank you for doing that. I've been told that my intros are too long, but hey, it's like, you know, an hour long experience. I feel like I should be able to give two minutes to let you guys know what's happening on the platform. Also, the Justin Hunt podcast is available everywhere that that podcasts, people, people like to stream podcasts. <laughs> so uh, I'll start promoting that going forward. Uh, but big thank you to everyone again for all the support. Up first, now, I've been doing more stories on things that are not hip-hop, and this one is an update on Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Okay, so we're in full election season, and one of the main shots, talking points, that the red team is using against Kamala Harris is her former relationship with the former mayor of San Francisco, Willie Brown. Right, so here's Willie Brown. This is Willie Brown right here. This is Kamala and Willie back in the 90s, maybe 2000s, right? Uh, this is a story from Style Magazine. It says, who is Kamala Harris's much older ex-former mayor, much older ex-former mayor Willie Brown, and did they have an affair? The vice, the vice president was 29 when she met a then 60-year-old Brown, who also acted in the Princess Diaries. I forgot about that. That's kind of, actually kind of funny. So they've been talking about how they've been using this to slander Kamala Harris. I mean, truthfully, they've been using this against her as she ran for state senator when she would, became California DA. They used it against her as vice presidential candidate when Biden ran in 2020, and now it's full-blown. <laughs> so the right is using this to say that she was having an inappropriate relationship, that she potentially was his side chick while he was married, a lot of things like that. Okay, so during a press conference yesterday, Trump was in Mar-a-Lago. He gave a big press conference in Mar-a-Lago. People asked him all kinds of questions. They asked him about his economic policy. They asked him about anything and everything. And someone asked him about Willie Brown and Kamala Harris. And so we have a clip of the question and the answer. Here it is. 
our sync relationship with Willie Brown, yeah. the former mayor of San Francisco, and now that might have intersected with her career trajectory. So I just wonder if you followed that discussion role in that episode, because well, I know Willie Brown very well. So what they're saying is how her relationship with Willie Brown intersected with her career trajectory. They're basically saying she slept her way to the top. All right, so here's Trump's answer. It's her career trajectory. So I'm just wondering if you followed that discussion role and have it as all of us. Well, I know Willie Brown very well. In fact, I went down in a helicopter with him. We thought maybe this is the end. We were in a helicopter going to a certain location together. And it was an emergency landing. This was not a pleasant landing. And Willie was, he was a little concerned. So I know him, I know him pretty well. I mean, I haven't seen him in years. Uh, he said they almost died in a helicopter together, right? I mean, just let's say, I, I remember the flights that I've been on with people. I've been on the turbulent flights that I've been on. And I remember who was around me, regardless of whether I knew the person or if it was a friend of mine. You know, that is a traumatic thing, being in the air and not feeling like you're going to make it safely to the ground. This is something that sears into your brain. You don't forget certain things like this, right? That is essentially what Trump said he shared with Willie Brown. Here's the rest of his, his statement. He told me terrible things about her, but this is what you're telling me anyway, I guess. But he, he had a big part in what happened with Kamala. But he, he I don't know, maybe he's changed his tune, but he, uh, he was not a fan of hers very much at that point. So, right, they're using, they're using her relationship with Willie Brown to slander her, say she slept her way to the top, and Trump says that he's not happy with her at this point in time. Very interesting story. Said he almost crashed, landed in a helicopter with Willie Brown. One of those moments that sears into your brain. Let me know in the comments section if you've ever been on a flight with too much turbulence and you remember it vividly. Here's the thing about this story. Here's the thing about this story. This morning, they asked Willie Brown if he remembers this situation with Trump. Here's a clip. I know Willie Brown very well. In fact, I went down in a helicopter with him. We thought maybe this is the end. Uh, it appears that uh, Donald Trump is talking about you today. <laughs> That's what I heard. I heard that... Uh... He was doing what Donald does best. Which is? His creativity fictional. I read. <laughs> so. He said his creativity fictional. Willie's an old guy, right? But that, you know, he's smiling, he's glowing. His creativity fictional. I think we know what he's saying. Here's where this goes. I could read you directly what he said, but in essence, he says you were doing business together. You were in a helicopter. You almost crashed. Right, Tony? Just the way it is. I, with that. I've never done business with Donald Trump. Let's start with that. And secondly, which I wouldn't, I don't think I'd want to ride on the same helicopter with him. So you were on an helicopter with him and almost crashed? No. <laughs> 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 Look at that laugh. <laughs> That's a genuine laugh. <laughs> That's your answer. <laughs> okay. yeah, just, He's dreaming. Okay. He's dreaming. So Willie Brown is categorically denied that he was in, air, in a helicopter with former yeah. President Trump, and they almost crashed together. So what is Trump talking about? I don't think I would forget who I was flying with if we almost died in that Vehicle. <laughs> if I'm in a helicopter with somebody and I'm about to die, that is the kind of moment that I remember. Right? So what's Trump talking about? Trump confused San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown with former California Governor Jerry Brown. Here's a picture of the two guys. Willie Brown looks like Willie. Jerry Brown looks like Jerry Lewis. Willie Mays Hayes and Jerry Lewis, okay? Now, their names are close. They both were in leadership in California, but he confused who he was with. Here's the story. Trump appears to confuse Mayor Willie Brown with former Governor Jerry Brown. 
You know what I mean? So here's what the story is. In 2018, Trump was in a helicopter with Jerry Brown and his successor, then Governor-elect Gavin Newsom, on the day they toured Paradise, California, a town that had been ravaged by wildfires. A representative for Jerry Brown disputed Trump's account of the helicopter ride, saying there was no emergency landing and no discussion of Kamala Harris. <laughs> a spokesperson for Newsom confirmed to NBC News that Newsom was aboard the helicopter but said there was no emergency landing and that they had not been endangered. The governor and former the governor and former governor first denied Trump's account in the comments to the New York Times. <laughs> okay. So he got his Browns confused, but it is disputable about whether it was a rough ride at all. So did Trump just make up this whole thing? Here's why that's significant. I like the rest of y'all, but I saw President Biden during those debates look like he did not know what continent he was on, didn't know what Marvel Universe he was a part of, where on the timeline he currently stood, and it's a real problem. I've watched so many Biden clips and felt just like the rest of y'all, like just like the rest of the world that's like, I don't know, man, he doesn't look tight at all. Oh my God, his eyes are squinting all the time. He's squinting, he doesn't look like he's even getting anything out. Oh my, what are they injecting him with? They got to inject, he's got to be high on something to keep this energy up, just like everybody else. Just like everybody else. Trump's been gaff prone for a long time, and I think we've been very used to it. Trump will say whatever is on his mind in a very entertaining way, even if it's some dark policy suggestions or dehumanizing language he's using against other people. <laughs> we kind of let it slide because we're kind of used to it. But he came in with that with so much confidence. I've known Willie Brown a long time. Oh, well, yeah, we took a helicopter ride. Oh, my God, it almost went down. Well, it wasn't Willie Brown. And the helicopter, helicopter ride on record was with Jerry Brown. And they say it didn't go down at all. Now, could they be lying about how rough that helicopter ride was to accentuate the fact that Trump got the wrong, the guy wrong, so maybe the whole situation, the whole situation, you know, we can color differently to make him look even less sharp, potentially. It is the middle of election season. It's the middle of election season. All that's on the table. But Trump set himself up for that one. Set himself up for that one. And to be honest, you know, the, the blue team is running with it. Now, coming out of Trump's camp earlier, we have a spokesperson for him named Caroline Levitt. This is Newsmax. This is a very friendly network to the red team. They asked him, they, excuse me, they asked her about Trump's comments. Here's what she said. In talking about misrepresentation, I'm curious to know, as uh, the former president gave a press briefing yesterday, and in that one hour, he claimed that he went down in a helicopter uh, with the former San Francisco mayor, Willie Brown. And now he's been interviewed about it, and he denies ever being in a helicopter with Willie Brown. Can you shed any light on that? Uh, I would just defer you to President Trump's statement and what he said yesterday. The president has a lot of, of amazing stories from his life. Uh, as we all know, he was a, a businessman and a celebrity uh, for decades prior to entering politics. And I'm just mute at that. <laughs> okay. She had nothing to say. Defer to Trump. He's got a lot of amazing stories as a businessman and a celebrity at his time in politics. I don't think Trump and his team are prepared to be facing someone as cognitively sharp as Kamala Harris. They were ready for old genocidal Joe. Squinting in conversations, can't remember if he killed Medicare or not. Now he's going up against someone, a team with all of their cognitive functions rocking at a high level, two people that aren't even 60, or one person, the vice president nominee is 60 and Kamala's 59. 
I don't know. I think they got some regrouping to do. I think it seems like they're very particular about when they let Trump talk, and I can understand because of situations like this. We can call this a little thing. We can call this, you know, a distraction, a side story. But we have to call it fair. And we've been beating Biden up his entire time in the White House, pretty much, for seeming like he's not all the way there. And now we've got Trump confusing who he's riding in a dangerous helicopter ride with, a death-defying helicopter ride, and we don't even know if it was dangerous at all. We have no idea if this story ever really happened. We'll see where this goes. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Justin Hunt is here, we saw it happening. Justin Hunt is here, we saw it happening. The mathematical breakdown of this mighty game of rap we in. It's boom bapping in. Systematical culture views us radical, it's all happening. Shaking hands and dapping in. Life through the lens of hip hop from trip hop to yes, yes, y'all, you don't stop, you don't, you don't stop, stop, stop. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. It's all happening, yes, it's all happening. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. It's all happening, yes, it's all happening.